Okay, children. In previous class, we have discussed the pair of linear equations in a two variables, which gives a unique solution. Let us discuss in this class the pair of linear equations which gives many solutions when we draw the graph of it graphically. Here I have taken the two equations 2x plus 3y is equals to 9 is the first equation and 4x plus 6y is equals to 18 it is the second equation. Let us solve these two equations graphically. If we solve these two equations graphically whether the graph gives us the two lines which are coincides each other or not. Let us solve this one. Again I am going to use the same procedure to calculate the values for x and y. Here the first equation is 2x plus 3y is equals to 9 children. In this one I will hide 2x. Here I am hiding. Is it visible to you x? x is not visible. x is not visible means it is 0. x is not visible means it is 0. Here we are going to have only one variable that is a 3y is equals to 9. 3y is equals to 9. So, y is equals to 9 by 3. So, 3 ones are 3 threes are. So, y is equals to 3. When it is if x is 0 then y is 3. If x is 0 then y is 3. Is that clear? Now, second for for the second one now I will hide y. Here y is invisible. y is invisible means it becomes a 0. So, y becomes a 0 y becomes 0 what is left here 2x is equals to 9. So, 2x is equals to 9. So, x is equals to 9 by 2 when it is 9 by 2 when y is 0. So, we can calculate simplify this one again to locate this point on the graph 2 ones are 2 fours are 8 1 is the remainder if I take the point it becomes 10 again 2 fives are. So, x is 4.5 or it is 4.5 this value is 4.5. So, here we got a two points only I am taking two values just because we need to draw a line one starting point is necessary and one end point is necessary. So, only I will take two two values for each equation ok here first equation calculation is over let us go for the second equation here also I will use the same procedure I will hide x here. If I hide x what is left here? x hiding means x becomes 0. What is going to left here? 6y is equals to 18. 6y is equals to 18. So, y is equals to 18 by 6. 6 ones are 6 threes are. So, if x is 0 y is 3. If x is 0 y is 3. Now, I will hide the y. Now, I am going to hide the y. Hiding y means y becomes 0. y becomes 0. What is left here? 4x is equals to 18. 4x is equals to 18. So, x is equals to 18 divided by 4. 4 ones are 4 4 are 16. 2 is the carry. Again, 4 5 is 20. So, it becomes 4.5. If y is 0, x is 4.5 children. So, if we plot the graph for these two tables, let us draw the graph for these two. Here I am going to draw the graph for these two equations by taking the scale as 1 centimeter is equals to 1 unit on both the axis as x axis as well as y axis. Let us plot the graph for these two children. If we plot the graph for this one here, the first equation gives us two values that is first point is if I take this one as A and this one as B, first point is A. A represents 0 3. So, let us represent this one on the graph. <coughs> it is a 0 3. Here x is 0. x is 0 means it comes in the origin. y is equals to 3. y 3 count the plus 3 on y axis 1 2 3. So, this gives 0 3. 0 3 this is the first point it is A. It is A and next the second point is B. Let us look at the second point on the graph. Here second point is x is 4.5 and y is 0. x is 4.5. We have to count 4.5 on the x axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4, 4 This is 4.5. y is what? 0. y is 0 means it always comes on the x axis only. So, the point B is 4.5. 
0 4.5 0 let us join these two equation two points childrens if we join these two we are going to get a straight line i will join this one <coughs> join the points with a smooth line here I am joined this is the line of the first equation that is a 2x plus 3y it is the line of equation 2x plus 3y is equals to 9 is equals to 9 let us plot the line for the second equation here in second equation I will take this point as a p and this point as q let us look at this point here p is 0 3 x is 0 y is 3 again this point come p point comes and coincides on the point a only it all it comes and coincides on point a so again it is a 0 3 q let us look at the q q is x is 4.5 y is 0 so x is 4.5 y is again 0 again it coincides comes and coincides on the point b so both the lines are having the same points and they comes on the same line so if we join again both the points p and q that line also comes on the line a b what we have drawn previously is that clear children this is what the given pair of linear equations <coughs> are having infinitely many solutions we can understand by this understand this one by drawing the graph and also we can understand this one by taking the ratio ratio of the coefficients of x and y if we take the ratio of coefficients of x and y that is 2 divided by 4 is equals to 3 divided by 6 is equals to 9 by 18 your coefficient of x is 2 your coefficient of x is 4 so 2 by 4 coefficient of y is 3 coefficient of y is 6 so 6 3 by 6 here constant 9 and here constant is 18 if we simplify these two equations these two here it is a 2 1 za 2 2 za 3 1 za 3 2 za 9 1 za 9 2 za so all becomes equal 1 by 2 is equals to 1 by 2 is equals to 1 by 2 <laughs> so we can generalize this one by taking the general form when given pair of linear equations are having a condition a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2 then the given pair of linear equations are having infinitely many solutions children's infinitely many solutions